day 5 today we are traveling from sakti village to mirak via pangong lake which is around 150 km away first four day were fantastic and we were hoping our coming journey will be more exciting we left sakti around 5:45 am for changla pass it was raining last night so weather is cold Along with chukar partridge and snow finches we clicked woolly hare who were wandering near road side then just after the pass we spotted himalayan snow cock again there were two of them the large grey partridge size around 55 to 74 cm in length and weight around 2 to 3 kg Sexes are alike in plumages but the female is smaller and lack the large tarsal spur of the male with the large distribution snow cock generally found in steep ridges of mountain of central and south asia above the tree lines and near the snow line just before the changla pass we saw another lifer as red fronted rose finch We had a group picture at Changla Pass and just after our breakfast we spent some time near Flower Valley. The rainy and cloudy weather, a white water river along with the narrow road lead us to our another lifer as streak rose finch. The rose finch was across the river so did not get good picture. We also clicked white wing restart and robin ascenter. Then we headed towards Pangong Lake. It was a cloudy day and there were intermediate trains in between. Near the Durbok we spot white throated dipper The bird is also known as European dipper This 17 to 20 cm in length and 15 to 76 g weight generally found in Europe Middle East Central Asia and Indian subcontinent The species is divided into around 13 subspecies in world. This beautiful dipper was in my wish list for a long time and first I saw them in my last trip to Arunachal. This time he gave us an ample time. Another lifer for us who just gave us a record shot was Dwight. A pair of red bill chuff were busy while having their breakfast. We also spent some good time with upland buzzard, another lifer for us. and a beautiful black red star the juvenile of marmots were busy while playing and we were happy to see them they are all around us during our journey
before reaching to Pangong Lake, we spot Common Turn 2. Around 1 pm, we reach to Pangong Lake, the world highest located saltwater lake, perched at an altitude of 4350 meters above the sea level. The lake is extended to approximately 160 km and one third of the lake is in India and another two third part lies in China. Pangong Lake, one of the most famous lake in Leh Ladakh, derives its name from Tibetan word Pangong TSO, which means High Grassland Lake. This beautiful lake seems to be dyed in blue, stand in stark contrast to the arid mountains surrounding it. After having our lunch here, we move towards Merik. In between, we halt for exploring birds. The horn lark were all around. There were many chukar and larks in that area. Walking near the green mountain or sulfur rocks on one side, a heart shaped view of Pangong Lake was mesmerizing and we spent some good time here. After that, we headed towards Mirik. We reached Merik around 4 pm. Merik is situated 176 km east of Leh on the southern bank of Bangkok TSO. Our plan is to explore Tibetan sand grouse after having our evening tea. We clicked House Sparrow. Tibetan Wild Ice. Timing stints, horn lark, and little lowl. We were having no luck for sand grouse, but we spot 40 birds and few mammals. Day 6 is going to be a long day again with around 150 kilometers on road from Mirik to Hanle. We woke up early in the morning and tried for Tibetan partridge. This small but attractive village offer a great view during the sunrise. We explored the village again for sand grouse and partridges but luck was not in our favor and we saw some common birds and mammals along with hill pigeon and pika. After having our breakfast, we packed our luggage and headed towards lake for more birds. We spotted few great crested grebe, 
कॉमन मर्गेंजर ब्राउन हेडेड गर्ल्स टिमिंग स्टिंट्स एंड फ्यू मोर वेडर्स नियर द लेक देन इन सर्च ऑफ पार्टरेज वी वेंट अप हिल इन स्मॉल ग्रुप्स एंड आई क्लिक टिकली फॉबलर रॉबिन सेंटर वूली हेयर कॉमन कुकु एंड सम गुड पिक्चर ऑफ ट्वाइट With no luck for partridge, we headed towards Hanle. The area of Chusul is more picture square, and we spotted here for few minutes, as there is a mobile network in some area. There were small water bodies between Chusul to Rizangla, and we spotted bar-headed goose, green-winged teals, pied owls, and few more waders. After driving for approx 1 hour we reached Rizangla War Memorial Rizangla War Memorial was constructed in 1963 at an altitude of 15000 feet in Chusul Plains close to the India China border in the memory of Charlie Company of 13 Kumaon Regiment who died while defeating Rizangla from chinese troops on 18 november 1962 114 indian soldier out of 120 were died fighting against 1000 chinese soldiers under the leadership of major shaitan singh after paying our tribute to our real hero we moved towards sakala pass and spotted chinese ruby throat and horn lark around 4 pm we halted for our lunch and then headed towards hanle the road condition in few stretches were very bad due to rain water flow and the indian army and locals were helping people whose vehicle was stuck in water the reflection of blue sky clouds and mountain on water were amazing at loma breeze we found one female great rose finch a record shot of another lifer as black neck crane an upland buzzard sitting far on the electric pole and our last lifer of the day as sakir falcon we reached hanle around 7 pm the day was hectic due to bad road and long journey but we managed to see 42 species during the day